Boundless Immigration News, Week in Review, July 1, 2022. Green Card Recapture Approved by House. This week, the House Appropriations Committee approved a measure to replace unused immigrant visas stuck in the backlog since 1992. The plan would allocate the unused green cards to immigrants stuck in years-long visa backlogs. Each year, a certain number of family and employment-based green cards are approved by Congress, but in the last few years and decades, hundreds of thousands of those approved visas have gone unused. The measures would also open up visas for immigrants who weren't allowed in the country during the Trump administration's travel bans. Biden's nominee to head ICE withdrawals. Ed Gonzalez, President Biden's pick to head up ICE, withdrew himself from consideration this week amidst allegations of domestic violence. In a letter to the president, Ed Gonzalez said he needed to prioritize his current duties as sheriff of Harris County, Texas, and that he had withdrawn in the best interest of the nation. Gonzalez and his wife had denied the allegations. ICE has not had a permanent director since the Obama administration. Biden administration suspends limits on ICE arrest. In June, a federal judge ruled a Biden administration policy that limited arrests of undocumented immigrants to only those who were considered a threat to public safety or national security. This week, the White House suspended the policy to comply with the court's ruling. The DHS said it strongly disagrees with the court's decision, which offers no clear guidance on who they can and cannot deport. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas announced the policy last year, arguing that being in the country illegally should not be the sole basis for arrest. The DHS says it will appeal the ruling. DHS provides $20 million in grants to citizenship prep programs. DHS said this week it's offering up to $20 million in grants to help green card holders prepare for the citizenship test. The test has two parts, verbal English skills and civics knowledge. The grant, which doubled from last year, will go to public and nonprofit organizations to help people prepare via English proficiency and U.S. history courses. USCIS said the grant hopes to support immigrants in underserved communities to access the resources they need to naturalize. The deadline to apply for funding is August 5th, and DHS will announce award recipients in September 2022. USCIS celebrates Independence Day. USCIS announced it's celebrating the 4th of July by welcoming more than 6,600 new citizens in 140 naturalization ceremonies in the first week of the month. Each year, USCIS commemorates the Declaration of Independence with special Independence Day-themed naturalization ceremonies nationwide. This year, they're encouraging participants to share their naturalization stories on their social media accounts using the hashtag, hashtag NewUSCitizen. Those are this week's top immigration news headlines. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless for the latest in immigration news. Thanks for watching.